Is the world ending? A question that might have crossed your mind in light of recent events. And why not? The Earth has been staging a spectacular display of natural phenomena. An earthquake on the East Coast, a lightning strike on the Statue of Liberty, and a solar eclipse all happening in quick succession. Coincidence? Or is Mother Nature sending us a message? First, let's delve into the earthquake that shook the East Coast. Earthquakes are not a common occurrence in this region, making this event all the more significant. The ground beneath us, usually so solid and dependable, suddenly shifted, reminding us of the dynamic and unpredictable nature of our planet. Next, the iconic Statue of Liberty didn't just welcome immigrants to the New World, but also a lightning bolt. The sight was mesmerizing and terrifying at the same time. It was as if Lady Liberty was demonstrating her power, her defiance against the elements. Or perhaps it was a call to action, a symbol of the storm we need to weather together. Finally, the solar eclipse, a celestial event that has stirred fascination and fear throughout history. The sun, the source of life, temporarily hidden, plunging the world into darkness. An awe-inspiring spectacle that makes us realize how small we are in the grand scheme of things. So, is the world ending? Well, that's a question no one can answer with certainty, but what we can say is that our planet is alive, it's dynamic, and it's unpredictable. These events are perhaps a reminder of that. A reminder to respect the power of nature, to be prepared for its unpredictability, and to cherish the beauty it offers. To summarize, the recent earthquake on the East Coast, the lightning strike on the Statue of Liberty, and the solar eclipse are all natural phenomena that remind us of the dynamic nature of our planet. They serve as reminders that we are part of a much larger universe, a universe that is beautiful, terrifying, and utterly awe-inspiring. So, rather than asking if the world is ending, maybe the question should be, are we doing enough to understand and protect it?